the double later on when he had a shot at Bull and hit the 25. Had he hit those two doubles, it would be three apiece. That's how tight really this game is, despite the fact that the score tells us differently. Pitching it high in the 60, which means he can't develop the shot on a lie. Finding the cover, yeah, that would echo. Last week, 60% check out to Taylor in his match against Lewis. Uh, whereas the only bl block on Gary's form was last week, he missed 20 shots of doubles, only a 30%. So you see, it's born out from last week. Yep. And, and we're here, Rod, and we're here, Whoa! Wayne, we're here, all the same. We're here, Eric, saying, don't we, that against. Taylor, you've got to be hitting the double, even if it's only one dart at the double, and tonight is proof of that fact. 97. Last four weeks, Taylor's been on 107 average. He's looking to maybe end on his highest yet. Had four weeks at 105. Anderson's 100. 100. Down a bit on last week, 103.5. Getting that red over to 11, 8, 180s. 132. Good dance from Anderson. Gives himself an outside chance. But Taylor just is not in the mood to be missing this type of finish. That's a clumsy dart. Rectified. Is he going to get tops? Not this time. What a chance for Anderson to hold his throw. Green bit. Going to go north, surely, of that line. Now this is going to be delicate, got to feather the barrel, nowhere near, caught the flight! Well, after the first start he never seemed confident, he didn't like the lie of the first start, and it means now 6-1 back in, 6-1 it is, this is a cakewalk for Taylor. And interesting, Anderson on 16, should just about book these players at the big dance at Wembley, but if he stays on 16, there's there's three lads behind him 61 who could possibly get there so this scoreline very interesting to the upcoming lads that's right and uh, Anderson's uh, legs difference here has taken a little bit of a batter in he started this match on plus 25 he's still got a healthy one um, and it perhaps just as well there you are the bottom half of the table uh, no, other than sense. the bottom two players, the real contenders for fourth spot. And that, there you have the bottom half of the table, in fact. But Wade not out of it, Lewis not out of it, and Jenkins, as I mentioned, still in with an outside chance. But you'd probably get 100 to 1, Sid. So coming up, Wade and Barney, who've shared just about 30 matches in the past. It's split about 16 no, 14 at Barney. That match has immense importance. Barney sitting on 13, Wade on 10, but we're on a rule. That'll be a belter. Well, still plugging away, Anderson. He's got to try and get into the zone and give us some magic. We know he can. Uh, hardly in a position to say he can win this game, but he can certainly still hit back and give Phil Taylor something to think about and give us some more entertainment. That's what we pay our money for, folks. You're not wrong there, Wack. Right then, four a point. Taylor starts a combination with the red pit. Bottom of the red pit, brilliant. Treble 17. Once tops. Genuinely thought he was going to get it. I think he did too, and most of the crowd. Perhaps not a bad thing if he doesn't but it's imperative the Scotsman gets that no confidence at all on the doubles arm goes to Jelly under the Taylor pressure making it far too easy for the champion